do you prefer a daddy or a twink? Yeah, look at me. A twink would fall in. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. That was gross. Do you have a racial preference? No. You're the best kind of gay. It's impulsive as fuck. I'm glad this isn't a family program. We're gonna check out some dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> you see the bios, they're like, blacks only, Latinos only, Asians only. It's like, why only? These are fucking fun. Hi, I'm Maurice Wanzer, and I'm a pair of legs with a head. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about physical attraction. There is prejudice versus preferences. <laughs>
All right, so let's sure. move on to Hank slash Henry. Your teeth look amazing. Lovely picture. He's right? so handsome. He's got a great chest. We love Wonderful. it. Now getting to the bio, attracted to younger guys. I sort of have a formula. I don't want to go out with older guys generally. So I divide my age in half by two, and I will add an extra year if a guy has a graduate degree, served in the military, or is from a foreign country. I love a veteran that is discount. A formula. <laughs> that is a formula. <laughs> So Guys who are driven and emotionally mature. Me. His oh. gender identity is truck driver. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm looking at sex. I would like to identify as rich white woman. <laughs> Tell us about truck driver. It's just, you know, a little fantasy. Ooh. You know? Tough guy, you know, blue You're, collar. We could yeah. be lot lizards. <laughs> what is a lot lizard? Someone help me. You know a lot of lingo, bitch. Are you fucking old or you? 25. How does he know? <laughs> Why do you think younger guys are attracted to you? I think that, that people each have the thing that they're looking for. It's ingrained. And we think it's all about, oh, I just like this. But really, it's, it's about when you're seven and aunt, somebody said something about somebody or other. And all these things change and, and, and mold what we find to be attractive. And so why does somebody think that I'm attractive? I don't know. It's, it's from what they went through. The triggers that showed them when they were really young, this is what is desirable. The short answer for that is trauma. Trauma shapes what you want, bitch. Hank, would you say that has age helped or hindered? I think both. Uh, I'll tell you why. I don't state my age on the app, but I'm very open if someone asks my age, and people do. I find guys uh, often think I'm much younger than I am, and so they're attracted, and there are guys who are turned off when they actually hear what my actual age is. That's so that's interesting. Weird. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Well, yeah. it's okay. I think people have a right to make decisions about age, you know? What culture shift do you think happened to make daddies more popular? I think partly there's a bit of hyper-masculinity that's attached to the notion of being a daddy. It's not always accurate, but the idea that you've got a beard, that you may be a little hairy, that you're, you know, a little a bit of a... There is one guy I know I find very attractive. He goes to Gold's Gym where I go, and I remember he asked me what my age was. At the time, I said, I'm 66. He's in his 30s. He said, that is such a turn on. Now, Really? I, that's a very Works. weird thing. Yeah. I rarely, <laughs> rarely hear that. I rarely hear that. It's an that's unusual hot. thing. But I am I embrace the fact that I'm a daddy yeah. now. Work. That's amazing. Come on, dad. Yeah, yeah I love it. <laughs> Yay. Liam, do you feel like it's the same for twinks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Room? Being a twink that you get categorized into femme, but it's also being a bottom, you also get put into this, this category of being feminine. And, you know, that's just not the truth. Would you say that you're feminine? Yeah, a little bit. But I can okay. also be very... Um, not masculine, but masculine in my own way, you know, like I am not over the top what you think feminine is. I can be relaxed and chill and just kind of like in yeah. zen, you know. How do you feel about getting older? Do you like it? I, I think it has affected me. Yeah. I think gay men um, are frightened of aging. Imagine if you fall in love with someone and who you want to spend the rest of your life with and the rest of that person's life is five years and the rest of yours is 40. I sense that in the HIV era before there was any treatment as someone who's HIV positive, I found people nervous because they could get in a relationship with me, but what if I died? I just think that's such a, for me, I think that's such a stupid factor because I could get hit by a bus leaving here. I <laughs> you know, if you like this I person agree. now, you should probably work on it now. I Versus totally agree. Versus trying to bank on a future with someone that may never come right. for you. <laughs> right. so, so you're yeah. writing someone off when you might be written off by Your Prince the Charming. fates. Yeah. Yeah, like the fates might be writing you off. Mm -hmm. So when do you can Convert to daddy, or are you going to be an aging twink? Do you a think you know? Am I already not a daddy, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I was like pans to camera. <laughs> to me, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, it's just what people think of me. It doesn't necessarily affect or impact my actual life. You know, like I don't sit at home and like I'm like, oh my god, it's my 26th birthday. Am I still a twink? You know, I typically have a group of friends who are younger than me. Mm -hmm. I now have an older group of friends. There is a guy who is amazing, and he has dinner with me once a month, and he calls me young man. Yeah, having friends that are older <clears throat> has absolutely made me less insecure about aging because I see firsthand, because uh, they're queer older people, what I can grow into 
and it's less terrifying than what I saw in heteronormative settings because I don't want a golden retriever <laughs> and 2.3 kids and a white picket fence and to be married like that. <laughs> I want a house in the hills with a pool and I want to throw parties every month that are, no, that are fully catered. No, but guess what? My older queer people do that. I love it. I love it. I'm like, oh, you're doing it. I can do it too. And I think <laughs> in years to come, we will see Gucci designing canes. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we solved ageism for the gays. That was so fucking easy. It only took a few short minutes in this outfit. That was What the Flip. I'm Ari Swanzo, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me, honeys. And I want to thank you and mention that I'm single. Oh, oh wow. Single? Kind of. But pick uh, collecting. Uh, <laughs> pick collecting. You're wasting your time. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm Ari Swanzo, and this was What the Flip.